Right, good day learners and welcome to today's video in which I'm going to be chatting about the uh, 2022 PET and this is for um, learners writing under the Department of Education. So this is the uh, DBE. I have done a first look at this. So we're going to jump into phase two. Okay, we've gone through the topic. We've looked at all these things. So let's go down and see what they require from you in phase two. And then I'm going to look at a few examples. Well, just one example from last year so that you have a good mental picture of exactly what you need to do. So the purpose of the PAT, they give that to us again. First thing they mentioned there is that we need to con uh, conduct a survey and create a questionnaire. Um, your survey needs to gather data that's going to help you answer the research question. So please bear that in mind. Uh, you need to have at least five questions that that's excluding things like what's your name, surname, where do you live, you know, gender, those type of things. Um, it's yeah, excluding that. Um, then they mention a few items on the design of the layout. OK, obviously you want it you know, to be something that looks professional. I'm just running through this. Um, they give you a few examples. Then they want you to process that into a spreadsheet. Okay, create a spreadsheet with a meaningful file name. Um, you want to bring that data in. Um, they mentioned the formulas. I'm going to go into some more detail on this. I'm just uh, looking at what they've given us here. Then they want to, us to process and, and, and analyze that data in a database. So now we've got our questionnaire, our survey. We've got our spreadsheet, we've got our database, and then they give us a few details on what we need to do there. And then we need to continue working on the report, okay? And then to hand in for phase two, the entire pet folder that will contain the questionnaire you designed, a minimum of 25 completed questionnaires, all right? You can use things like Google Forms, and that might be easier because you can actually take a Google Form and extract the data to an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, let me know in the comments if you don't know how to do that, um, and then I can take you through that process. Okay, then the completed spreadsheet with the analysis of data, including graphs, your database, and your updated report. Okay, so let's go into some more detail by looking at the rubric. Remember, guys. The rubric is where we see exactly what we need to do. Okay, so we're getting four marks for the questionnaire. The questionnaire has to have clear instructions, questions that have to be relevant, questions that enable processing. So um, closed questions are always better for this. Then you'll get another four marks on the technicalities around it. Is it designed electronically? appropriate questions grouped together are there at least five questions do you have professional formatting and layout so let me go and have a look and see if i've got one yeah i think this is an old one and you can see just this is just a simple one created in word and there i've got a few details you know male female person can pop in their name also their age and then this one of this person obviously created more than five questions but that's all you need and you can see it's a question with a yes or no answer. Yes or no. Yes or no. Um, putting in a specific date. Because we want to take this and we want to turn this data into a spreadsheet and into a database. Okay. So that is an example of what your questionnaire um, should look like. Okay. So you're getting marks for that. Then we move over to the spreadsheet. So guys, just remember that, um, you know, you can do this in a Google form. That might be easier because you can distribute the link to friends via WhatsApp and then they can fill it in um, and you need 25 of those, please. OK, so that's all sorted out. Let's have a look at what we need now. Now we move on to the spreadsheet. So um, we need a spreadsheet that has a separate worksheet for results, well designed, well formatted, easy to read. Just from that, you're going to get four marks. OK, then is the data suitable? Um, analysis includes relevant appropriate data other than responses from the respondents. Um, that's extra mark for that. Spreadsheet processing and analysis of data is suitable. Functions have been applied. There's another four marks for that. Okay, so let me see what I have here. Again, this is just going to be absolutely basic. Yeah, 
like I said, absolutely basic. Um, but there we go. This is an example of a spreadsheet, obviously not very well formatted and designed, but yeah, <laughs> no comment on that. So here we've got our headings. Okay, and you can see the person took the the questions from the questionnaire and turned that into the headings and then populated that. Obviously, you're going to have 25 rows because you've got 25 completed questionnaires. Um, you're going to pop that information in there. And then this person popped in formulas using count if over there to count the number of daily and the number of monthly. This one counted the number of people who know what an online collaboration tool um, is and those who don't as well. Okay, so that is what you can do. I'm not sure. Ah, here we go. There are charts here as well. And let's have a look at what they say. They mentioned that you need two relevant graphs. They don't say which ones. It just has to be relevant, meaningful, appropriate graphs used, and they are easy to read and interpret. So um, when I go back to this, is it easy to interpret and read? Has it got you know, a bit of information there. Yes, it has ticks the boxes. And that's how you get your marks. Then spreadsheet complexity. So don't get confused with this, you get four marks for popping in some formulas. Okay. But in order to get the four marks, you need one meaningful calculation from each level. If you don't do that, you are not going to get the marks. End of story. Okay. So if I've got four sums, I'm only going to get one mark, I need a sum. Um, for example, I need a, a, a large, I need a rand between and a nested if or a lookup function. And that's how I'll get my four marks for the spreadsheet complexity. Okay, so let me close. So now we've got our questionnaire, we've got our spreadsheet. And then we're going to go to our database. And let's have a look at what they want there from us. So let me see how many marks are we getting. That's four, that's eight, 12, 16, 20, just for database. Okay. So the first thing is on the design, do I have at least one table? Does my table contain five fields? Remember the five questions. So you got to turn that into fields. Do they have appropriate meaningful names? Um, do they contain single data units? Then all text fields are set to an appropriate size. At least one validation rule and text, one list or combo box, and one input mask. So guys, that's how you are going to get those four marks over there. Uh, then let's go down. Um, if we need to have at least 20 relevant records, one query, and then a second query. So we're going to have one table and we're going to have two queries. So you can see from the complexity of queries, the more complex you make the query, the higher the marks, but you'll only get four marks if you've actually done one from each one of these levels. So please read through the see what you need to do. And um, then you can get the relevant marks over there. And then you need a report. Now this is please be careful with this. You need a meaningful correct report. It needs to be sorted on one field, grouped on at least one field and contain one meaningful calculation. Guys, go and check out the videos that I have because all these things are there. I've gone through these things before. Um, and you can go and see where to do that. So there you can see from uh, phase two, I've got my questionnaire, I've got my spreadsheet. Uh, there's my database. There's my table. You know, this individual didn't do the queries and the reports. So obviously, they're not going to get the marks for that. Okay, but you can see it doesn't have to be overly complicated, um, can be quite simple as long as it has a nice professional look to it. Okay, and that's then how we get our 44 marks for phase 